Have you ever wondered if your reality could simply be the product of a cosmic fluke? What if everything you know and experience is just a figment of a cosmic brain's imagination? Reality and consciousness. These two concepts have been the subject of millennia-long debates among philosophers, scientists, and thinkers. What is reality? It is the state of things as they actually exist, independent of our perception. But what if our perception is all that exists? Is our consciousness, our awareness of our own mental processes and the world around us, the sole determinant of our reality? Throughout the ages, countless theories have been proposed to explain the nature of reality and consciousness. Some advocate for a dualistic approach, suggesting a clear divide between the physical world and the realm of consciousness. Others espouse a monistic view, arguing that consciousness and reality are inseparable, each influencing and shaping the other. The mystery of consciousness and the enigma of reality have not only intrigued philosophers, but have also caught the attention of scientists. They have probed the depths of the human brain, explored the farthest reaches of the cosmos, and delved into the tiniest particles of matter, all in an attempt to understand these profound questions. But what if our reality, our consciousness, and everything we perceive is nothing more than a cosmic accident? A random fluctuation in the universe that resulted in a self-aware entity capable of creating a subjective reality? This is the premise of the Boltzmann Brain Hypothesis, a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of reality and consciousness. So buckle up, as we are about to embark on a journey through the cosmos, into the labyrinth of our minds, and beyond the realm of our ordinary perception. We'll delve into quantum mechanics, thermodynamics and cosmology, as well as philosophy and cognitive science as we explore this mind-bending hypothesis. As we delve into these questions, let's explore a mind-bending hypothesis that might change the way you perceive your reality. Before we dive into the Boltzmann brain hypothesis, we need to understand the second law of thermodynamics. This law is a fundamental principle in the world of physics, and it's all about energy and disorder. The second law of thermodynamics states that in any energy exchange, if no energy enters or leaves the system, the potential energy of the state will always be less than that of the initial state. This is also commonly referred to as entropy. But what exactly is entropy? Picture a toy box. If you leave a toddler alone with it, the toys will inevitably end up scattered, creating a state of disorder. In the same vein, entropy is the measure of disorder or randomness in a closed system. Now, let's meet Ludwig Boltzmann, a 19th-century Austrian physicist. Boltzmann made significant contributions to the field of statistical mechanics, which is the study of phenomena at the atomic and subatomic level. He developed a formula to calculate entropy, which is still used today. Boltzmann proposed that the state of maximum entropy, where energy is most spread out, is the most likely state of the universe. He suggested that the universe, just like our toddler's toy box, tends toward disorder. Boltzmann's ideas were groundbreaking at the time, and they've become a cornerstone of our understanding of the universe. His work paved the way for much of modern physics, including the theory of the Big Bang and the concept of an infinitely expanding universe. So, in summary, the second law of thermodynamics and the concept of entropy tell us that the universe tends towards states of higher disorder. Ludwig Boltzmann played a key role in developing this understanding, suggesting that the most likely state of the universe is one of maximum entropy. With this understanding, we can now introduce the Boltzmann Brain Hypothesis. So what exactly is the Boltzmann Brain Hypothesis? Well, let's take a deep dive into this intriguing idea. The Boltzmann Brain Hypothesis is a thought experiment that emerged from the field of theoretical physics. It's named after Ludwig Boltzmann, a 19th century physicist who made significant contributions to our understanding of entropy. This hypothesis proposes a rather unsettling idea that our entire existence, including the universe as we perceive it, could be the fleeting thought of a higher dimensional, self-aware entity known as a Boltzmann brain. Here's the core statement of this hypothesis. Given an infinite amount of time and space, it's statistically more likely for a single brain to spontaneously form out of the chaos of the universe. 
complete with false memories of a life lived, than for the entire universe to form as we know it. Sounds mind-boggling, doesn't it? Now let's delve into the statistical calculations of probability for a Boltzmann brain emerging. It all comes down to entropy, a measure of disorder in a system. The universe, as per the second law of thermodynamics, is gradually moving towards a state of maximum disorder. In an infinitely expanding universe, the chances of a single organized entity like a brain forming are incredibly slim, but not zero. And given infinite time, even the most unlikely events could occur. But why a brain, you might ask? Well, the hypothesis suggests that a brain is the simplest organized structure that can perceive itself and its surroundings. It's not about a physical brain as we know it, but more about a self-aware entity capable of thought. A Boltzmann brain. Now let's discuss the implications of this hypothesis for our understanding of reality and consciousness. If the Boltzmann brain hypothesis holds, it would mean that our perception of reality is not a reliable guide to the nature of the universe. Our entire existence could be a momentary fluctuation in a sea of chaos. It could mean that our consciousness, memories, even our sense of time and space are all illusions created by this Boltzmann brain. This hypothesis also raises questions about the nature of consciousness. Is it simply a product of physical processes or is there more to it? If consciousness can emerge from chaos, does it imply a kind of panpsychism? The view that consciousness is a fundamental and ubiquitous aspect of the universe. In essence, the Boltzmann brain hypothesis challenges our most basic assumptions about reality and consciousness. It invites us to look beyond what we perceive and consider the possibility of existences that are far removed from our everyday experiences. If this hypothesis holds true, it could fundamentally alter our understanding of reality. It's a journey into the unknown, a fascinating exploration of the limits of our knowledge and the mysteries of the universe. So, hold on to your seats, folks, as we delve deeper into this mind-bending concept. But how could we differentiate a Boltzmann brain from a real conscious being? This question brings us to the concept of decoherence. In quantum mechanics, decoherence refers to the loss of coherence or ordering of the phase angles between the components of a system in a quantum superposition. This process is vital in transitioning from quantum behavior to classical behavior, the world as we know it. When applied to the Boltzmann brain hypothesis, decoherence could potentially differentiate a Boltzmann brain from a real conscious being. A Boltzmann brain spontaneously formed from a high entropy state would exist in a superposition of states subject to rapid decoherence. It would struggle to maintain the stability and coherence necessary for consciousness, unlike our brains, which are continuously interacting with their environment and are persistently coherent. Now let's delve into the concept of cosmic amnesia. The term refers to the idea that a Boltzmann brain, if it were to exist, wouldn't have genuine memories of the original reality. Instead, it would have false memories, spontaneously formed along with its sudden existence. These memories would seem real to the Boltzmann brain, but they wouldn't correspond to any actual past events. It's like waking up with a head full of experiences that never happened, a reality that never existed. This would make it impossible for a Boltzmann brain to truthfully remember the universe's history or its own past, thus differentiating it from a genuine conscious being. But what if Boltzmann brains exist within a simulation or a multiverse scenario? If we consider the simulation hypothesis, it suggests that reality as we know it might be a computer-generated simulation. In such a case, Boltzmann brains could simply be programmed elements within this simulation, no more or less real than any other part of the simulated universe. On the other hand, the multiverse concept proposes an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own laws of physics. In some of these universes, the conditions might be just right for the spontaneous formation of Boltzmann brains. These brains could have entirely different experiences and perceptions of reality, based on the laws governing their respective universes. This adds another layer of complexity to the hypothesis, as it suggests that our understanding of reality and consciousness might be limited to our own universe and its laws. So where does this leave us? We've explored the role of decoherence 
the concept of cosmic amnesia, and the possibilities of simulations and multiverses. These considerations offer fascinating insights into the Boltzmann brain hypothesis, presenting us with a mind-bending perspective on reality and consciousness. Though the hypothesis is intriguing, proving it remains a challenge. As we venture further into this realm of thought, we confront the vast unknown, the limits of our understanding, and the tantalizing possibility of realities beyond our wildest imaginations. So can we ever prove or disprove the Boltzmann brain hypothesis? That's a question that has perplexed scientists and philosophers alike. As of now, it's impossible to directly prove or disprove this hypothesis. Remember, we're dealing with a concept that is deeply rooted in statistical probabilities and the vast, unending expanse of the universe. It's like trying to find a single unique snowflake in a blizzard that spans across the cosmos. However, that doesn't mean we're entirely in the dark. There's potential for indirect evidence. One method that scientists are exploring is analyzing the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation is a relic from the Big Bang, a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. Scientists suggest that unusual fluctuations in this radiation might hint at the existence of Boltzmann brains. But remember, these are just possibilities, and we're far from reaching a definitive conclusion. Let's also consider the philosophical implications. If we were ever able to prove the Boltzmann brain hypothesis, it would fundamentally alter our understanding of reality and consciousness. It would mean that our perceived reality, our memories, our very existence, could be the product of a random fluctuation in the universe. On the flip side, disproving the hypothesis would reaffirm our understanding of reality as we know it, but it would still leave us with unanswered questions about consciousness and the nature of existence. It's a bit like opening Pandora's box. Once opened, there's no going back. The implications are vast and profound, and they challenge our most fundamental beliefs about what it means to be conscious, to exist, to be human. While proving the hypothesis remains elusive, it has faced its fair share of criticism. But that's a topic for another scene. And remember, in science, criticism isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a natural part of the process, a way to refine theories, to question assumptions, and to push the boundaries of our knowledge. What are the criticisms and challenges against the Boltzmann brain hypothesis? This question brings us to the heart of some of the most compelling counter-arguments. One of the major criticisms is the subjective nature of consciousness. It's a complex, multifaceted phenomenon that we're yet to fully grasp. Some argue that it's not reducible to mere physical processes, as the Boltzmann brain hypothesis suggests. Consciousness, they say, transcends the boundaries of physics and cannot be boxed into the confines of thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. Another critique focuses on the application of statistical probabilities to unique events, like the origin of consciousness. The argument here is that probabilities are meaningful only when applied to a large number of events or systems, not to a single unique occurrence. The emergence of consciousness, they argue, is an extraordinary event that defies the norms of statistical calculation. So, using probabilities to predict the occurrence of Boltzmann, brains might be a misapplication of the concept. Then there's the challenge of cosmic amnesia, a concept we've previously discussed. To recap, it's the idea that a Boltzmann brain, if it were to exist, wouldn't truly remember the original reality. Critics argue that this aspect of the hypothesis is fundamentally flawed. They contend that it's impossible to overcome cosmic amnesia because a Boltzmann brain, by its very nature, would be an isolated entity, disconnected from the rest of the universe. It wouldn't have access to the information needed to recreate a coherent memory of reality. These are just some of the criticisms and challenges that the Boltzmann brain hypothesis faces. They underscore the complexity of the issues at hand and the difficulty in finding definitive answers. But it's important to remember that these criticisms don't necessarily invalidate the hypothesis. They simply highlight its limitations and the areas where further exploration is needed. Despite these challenges, the Boltzmann brain hypothesis continues to provoke thought and discussion. 
It encourages us to grapple with profound questions about consciousness, reality, and the nature of existence. And that in itself is a victory for scientific inquiry. So where does this leave us in our understanding of reality and consciousness? The Boltzmann brain hypothesis, while far from definitive, presents a fascinating foray into the realms of the unknown. It serves as a reminder of the vastness of the cosmos and the mysteries it harbors, prompting us to question our perceptions of reality and consciousness. This hypothesis, like many others in the realm of theoretical physics and philosophy, is open-ended. It's not about finding definitive answers, but rather about stimulating thought, pushing boundaries, and inspiring us to question the world around us. Our understanding of the universe is ever-evolving. We must acknowledge the limitations of our knowledge while also recognizing the value of diverse viewpoints. The quest for truth is a collective endeavor, made richer by the variety of ideas and perspectives that humanity brings to the table. While we may never know if we are Boltzmann brains or not, the exploration of such hypotheses continues to expand our understanding of the universe and our place within it.